you know what? I'm not going to talk about rape today or abortion. And it's not that there aren't any relevant misogynistic stories in the news on those topics this week. It's just that I have to work damn hard sometimes to keep this segment from turning into this week in forced rape babies. So instead of rape babies, we'll start this week with cheap prostitutes, which is defined in a sex ed pamphlet in current use in New Zealand as any woman who cohabitates with a man she isn't married to. Because you see, they're trading access to their lady bits for rent which makes them cheap prostitutes, even though in almost all the cases they're also paying half the rent too, which I guess makes them free prostitutes. From the pamphlet, talking about those filthy fornicating cohabitators, quote, she's nothing more than a cheap prostitute who allows herself to be used for his sexual gratification in exchange for what seems to be a stable and secure home life. This make-believe game may fool people, but it doesn't fool God, end quote. Not really sure how the originators of this comparison get around the fact that the same line of logic makes married women expensive prostitutes. Less insulting, I guess, but not exactly complimentary. Of course, it also left me thinking, is teaching this kind of shit legal at public schools in New Zealand? Well, the answer is not really, which left Principal Jeff Smith sweating like a cohabitating female in public school, I'm sure. And, of course, it just wouldn't be this week of misogyny if we didn't stop in and see who was saying something on Fox News that would make Elizabeth Cady Stanton want to skull fuck them with a strap-on. Tonight, that honor will go to Gavin McGinnis, who appeared on Sean Hannity's show to explain that women earn less than men because they're both lazy and condemned by God. After explaining that the true root of the pay gap is that women would rather go to their daughter's piano recital than stay at work all night, he went on to say, quote, This is sort of God's way, this is nature's way, of saying women should be at home with the kids. They're happier there, end quote. So you hear that, New Zealand? It's God's fault those cohabitating women aren't at least middle-income prostitutes. And after two weeks in a row of closing out on really morbid shit, I was actually able to dig up some good news to cap the segment this week. Noah and Heath already talked about the new Pew numbers and the increasingly godless America they reveal, but there's a nugget buried in there that I thought was worth offering a little special attention to. In 1997, 16% of atheists and agnostics were women, according to Pew Research. Today, that number is about 50%. Turns out that when you lag hundreds of years behind the rest of the society and equal rights, eventually women start to notice. So welcome to the club, ladies. Glad to have you. And on that refreshingly positive note, I'll hand things back over to Noah and Heath.